Hey everyone. So today we are going to see the basis and dimension for trace zero matrices and other special matrices. Other special as in so trace zero means what? The sum of the diagonal entries is zero. So if you have that collection of matrices, then what is the basis and the dimension? So and uh, suppose if you have collection of all matrices whose sum of the first row is zero, then how to find the basis and dimension? Or you have the collection of all matrices whose suppose say third row is zero, sum of the entries in the third row is zero. Or if you have the collection of matrices whose sum of the entries in say first column is zero, or sum of the matrices whose say fourth column is zero, sum of the entries in the fourth column is zero. So, so whenever you have such kind of questions, the same trick will work, and all have the same dimension. Okay, but basis will be different, obviously, but the dimensions are same. So I will tell you the trick for a trace zero and the hints for other matrices. Like just now I told you when the sum of the rows or sum of the column is zero. Okay, but if you have a matrices collection of matrices where the sum of first row is zero, sum of third row is zero. These two conditions are there. Then obviously dimension will change. I am talking about only one condition. Either one of the sum is zero. Okay, so that's one thing. So again, like we did for the symmetric and skew symmetric matrices, we did the proof in two ways. We found the basis and then found the dimension. And the second trick is directly we found the dimension. Okay, so now here also, so trace zero matrices. Okay, so let me take T as set of all A belongs to M N such that trace of A is zero. So for simplicity, so let me call Tn to be set of all n cross n matrices whose trace is zero. Okay, so again for simplicity, let me do for T equal to two case. Now since I'm interested in sum of the diagonal entries, non-diagonal can be anything. I don't mind whatever the diagonal and non-diagonal will be. Now as soon as if suppose this is A and D, trace zero means what? Your A plus D is zero. That means what is your D? Minus A. So as soon as I know the first entry, I know this entry. This has to be minus A. This does not have any choice. So any two cross two matrix whose trace is zero is of this form. And then you can see how you can write this again with the help of elementary matrices. What are elementary matrices? E, I, J. What is this matrix? One in the i row and the jth column, and rest everywhere zero. Okay. So again, we are going to take the help of this elementary matrices. If you have not seen my lecture on the basis and dimension for, dimension for symmetric and skew symmetric matrices, link is there in the description. So please go through that. So this will be much more easier to understand. Okay. So this is how a two cross two matrix of trace zero looks like. And here, if you observe, so see non-diagonal. Let me write down non-diagonal entries first because they can be anything because they have no role in finding the trace. And for a diagonal, if I remove a one zero zero minus one. So what is this? This is nothing but so I can see there are three vectors: one, two, three. And what is this? B into this is nothing but E one two plus C into E two one plus A into E one one minus E two two. And again by the same technique, if I call B two, since I am playing with two cross two matrices, if I take B two as E one two, E two one, and E one one minus E two two. Then, as you can see, E11, E12, and this, all these three matrices have trace zero. Trace is zero. So, therefore, your B2 is a subset of T2. So, when I take span on both sides, so span of B2 is a subspace of span of T2. So, what is span of T2? It is T2 only because T2 is already a subspace. So, span of B2 is a subspace of T2. Is the converse true? Yes. Why? Because if you take any matrix in T2, it is what? It is in the span of this because that matrix is nothing but the linear combination of vectors in B2. So therefore, that T2 is in the span of B2. So T2 is in the span of B2. So therefore, your T2 is nothing but span of B2. So therefore, B2 spans this collection. Are this is are these three vectors linearly independent? Yes. The same thing. What will you do? You take C1 times this plus C2 times this. So, like, if C1 times this 
plus C2 times this plus C3 times this equal to 0 you do our normal scalar multiplication you compare both side your C1, C2, C3 will come out to be 0 and therefore your B2 is a basis for T2 and how many elements B2 has? so B2 has 3 elements and therefore the dimension of T2 is nothing but 3 ok now the same technique works for 3 cross 3 matrix so D3 is collection of all 3 cross 3 matrices whose trace is 0 now how does a 3 cross 3 matrix looks like like this here you will have A33 but I want the trace to be 0 so as soon as I have these two entries what is this entry this has no choice this has to be minus A11 minus A22 this has no choice then only the trace will be 0 if this is something else then the summation want to be 0 so once you know these two entries this has to be minus A11 minus A22 ok so again there is no restriction on the non-diagonal entries so I wrote them this way Aij Eij like we wrote earlier B into A1 E12 plus C into E21 right so similarly here I have this Aij's into Eij's where i and j both are going from what 1 to 3 and these are the non-diagonal entries therefore i not equal to j for symmetric matrix and skew symmetric if you remember it was i less than j there was a change here as well but okay plus now i have to take care of the diagonal entries so if you observe diagonal if i take out one a11 one, one outside so here i have one and here i will have minus one and when i take out a22 two, two outside same thing it will be here one and here it will be minus 1 so it will be summation a i i what is this this is or uh, yeah so this is what e11 minus so both the case this is same so this will be minus e33 that is fixed because e33 is minus 1 this is changing so this will be e i i and i is only 1 and 2 because only a11 and a22 there is no a33 so summation of non-diagonal entries which are 1 2 3 4 5 6 in number and two diagonal entries so this is e11 minus e33 so when my i is 1 e11 minus e33 when my i is 2 so again e22 minus e33 and therefore in this scenario your basis your suppose b3 because set of all 3 cross 3 matrices it is union of e i j same thing your i and j are going from 1 to 3 and they are the non-diagonal ones union with this matrices e i i minus e 3 3 where i is going from 1 to 2 so ok let me put the bracket here so this collection union so this collection union this collection so 3 plus 3 6 plus 2 so the dimension is 8 and this forms the basis and now you can see it's easy to generalize so when you have a n cross n matrix so here what will be the change your i and j will go from 1 to n because as soon as you have n cross n matrix this is what a11 a22 a33 what will be this it is minus summation a i i i is going from 1 to n minus 1 because for 3 cross 3 it was minus a11 minus a22 now here so I'm, I was I went till 2 right so for n cross n I will go till n minus 1 n minus sign minus of this n minus 1 entries and this can be anything no restriction on this so since for non diagonal there is no restriction so this is summation aij eij the same thing plus now here I will do what My, this is same so here it will be e and n because this is always minus 1 so it 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 and your i is going from 1 to n minus 1 so this is how you can write any n cross n matrix whose trace is 0 as the linear combination of eijs okay and what will be the basis now so i and j will go from 1 to n and here e i i minus e n n and your i is going from 1 to n minus 1 and therefore how many these entries are there total are n square but I am not taking the diagonal one how many are entries are there in the diagonal n entries so these are n square minus n in number cardinality of b3 
सो नॉन डायगोनल्स आर एन स्क्वेर माइनस एन टोटल आर एन स्क्वेर एम रिमूविंग द डायगोनल वन प्लस हाउ मेनी आर हियर वन टू एन माइनस वन सो दिस आर एन माइनस वन इन नंबर एंड वेन आई एड दम माइनस एन प्लस एन गोज अवे फाइनली आंसर इज एन स्क्वेर माइनस वन सो द डायमेंशन फॉर ट्रेस जीरो मेट्राइसिस इज नथिंग बट एन स्क्वेर माइनस वन सो इफ आई आस्क यू वॉट इज द ट्रेस ऑफ टी हंड्रेड दैट मीन्स ऑल हंड्रेड क्रॉस हंड्रेड मेट्राइसिस ट्रेस इज जीरो देन इज द डायमेंशन इज नथिंग बट हंड्रेड स्क्वेर माइनस वन दिस इज नाइन 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 सो आई नो देर आर इन्फाइनेटली मेनी मेट्राइसिस इन दिस कलेक्शन but only 9999 entries are or matrices are linearly independent rest all will be the combination of this okay so this is the answer for dimension for trace zero matrices okay and uh, for example if you have 1 2 3 what will be this entry it has to be minus 1 okay if you take 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 what will be this You add them and give the minus sign. So five plus one is six, and that's what we did. Minus a one one minus a two two. Okay. So that's the idea for this. And the same thing works. If suppose if I tell you some collection of all those matrices whose sum of the first row is zero. So here it will be a one one, a one two, a one three. You keep on going. What will be the last entry? It will be minus of summation. A one J, where J or yeah, where J is going from one to n, because once I know this n minus one entries, this has to be you take the sum and put minus sign, and this can be anything, right? So these are n square minus n entries. These are n minus one. So again, the dimension is n square minus one. Similarly, if I take sum 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 of the rows, sum of the entries of the second column to be zero. it will again the dimension will again be n square minus 1 okay so that's how whenever this sum is equal to 0 whenever such a thing is given only one condition then your dimension is always n square minus 1 okay and uh, now without knowing the basis how can you say the dimension so the same technique i want trace zero right so as you know that the non diagonal entries can be anything right they have no restriction so how many independent entries i will need so once i know this n minus 1 diagonal entries what entry is this this has no choice this has to be minus of the sum of this entries okay so this entries can also be anything up to n minus 1 but for this a n n because what you have you have a 1 1 plus a 2 2 plus a n n equal to 0 right so what will be your a n Will minus of summation a i i i is going from one to n minus one. Okay, so as you can see, I have only one dependent entries. Rest all entries are independent entries, and therefore total entries are n square, and only one is dependent. Therefore, dimension is n square minus one. Okay, so that's how you can directly find the dimension by looking at the number of independent entries. Okay, so now let me give you two three homework problems. So such kind of questions you may see in your exams, competitive exams or entrance exams. So like you have to tell me the dimension. So you have a collection of all five cross five matrices whose trace is zero. So tell me the dimension for this collection of all four cross four matrices whose sum of the entries in second column is zero, and all hundred cross hundred matrices whose sum in the first row is zero. so tell me the dimension for all the three examples so i hope you understood this lecture if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section and if everything is clear and you liked this lecture then do not forget to like share and subscribe thank you